But yeah, they had to change like the full uh, the full cable that was outside because of it was eaten by squirrels. Or damaged by squirrels. I don't know if they ate it, but <laughs> maybe it's their little claws over time or something. I actually speaking of, of squirrels, I have a story for you guys. It's actually pretty crazy. Um I know for a fact that squirrel claws are actually pretty uh, pretty sharp and um, like we had at some point like we had a um, back when I had my dog it was like maybe like five years or so ago something like that um, back when I had a, a dog we we had a squirrel that snuck inside the house by the um, I think it was uh, I think it snuck by like some uh, ventilation pipe or something because the little trap outside was kind of um, kind of loose so it kind of snuck in there and then um, I don't know how but it, it got inside and it was stuck inside the house and uh, I actually I tried to catch it <laughs> with a uh, uh, with, with a um, like a piece of cloth and believe it or not, I actually managed to catch this damn squirrel with my bare hands and this piece of cloth. I swear to God, guys, for those of you who like uh, who have experience holding a snake, like holding a big snake, for those of you who've, uh, who've experienced that, you know how like thick and fucking muscular like snakes are? Like once you, you, when you hold that thing, it's like, oh my God, you feel like the body could like move, um, could like move your hand open or something like that because it's so damn muscular and strong like for those of you who've ever held big snakes I swear to god like a, a holding a squirrel feels the exact same like I could not like keep a hold of that squirrel it was like shaking so goddamn hard in my hand it was like it was like a, a ball of energy it was like dip <laughs> it was moving like left and right it was dip like it really wanted to get out of my hand and it eventually it did because that thing was so goddamn strong like I can't tell you how strong squirrels are guys like seriously like you don't you don't understand like how how strong squirrels are until you've held one and then I would compare that to like holding a, a like a big snake it is so goddamn strong and um obviously it jumped out of my hand it actually jumped in my face that thing clawed my face <laughs> and uh I had to take some antibiotics because of that, like just to make sure I didn't get like any fucking infections or stuff like that. And then, and then afterward, <laughs> afterward I had the idea of just, you know, letting the dog kind of scare the squirrel and open the door, like the back door and the front door, and then the squirrel got out on its own. So it was extremely stupid to try to catch the squirrel with my bare hands, but it was uh, an enlightening, enlightening experience. Um, I now know how it feels to hold a vicious squirrel in my bare hands. And as much as these things, like, the the fur is very soft and, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a nice animal. But, God, these things, like, they're just packed with energy. It's like an energy ball. And you know how, like, uh, I think we might black crystal here. And you know how, like, in, um, you know, in cartoons... Sometimes you get those like cartoons where I don't know just name an animal or a pet that's like is running free inside a house like a And it just like jumps around every furniture and like just bounces around chandeliers and stuff like that I don't know if you guys can picture it. It's like some old old school cartoon type of uh, uh, I don't know reference, but the squirrel did the exact same like the squirrel actually like was jumping around all the furnitures in the in the house like panicking <laughs> and it jumped on the candelier like um is it called a candelier i don't know if it's called a candelier but you know that um the center the center light for uh, tables i forgot what it's called in english but like Tom and Jerry? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, yeah, I might be thinking of Tom and Jerry. It's been too long though. But yeah, the squirrel actually went in there and was swinging the whole the whole thing. A desk lamp? No, it's not on a desk. It's not like, uh... 
it's like hanging from the ceiling, you know, uh, like say above your um, your ki your kitchen table, for instance. Chandelier. Okay, so that is a, ch a chandelier. So yeah, that the squirrel was the squirrel actually jumped on the chandelier like swinging. Like the chandelier was swinging left and right and the squirrel was balancing with it and it was panicking like crazy and did not know where to go. So that was something I will always remember. Pretty... Pretty memorable uh, moment. Okay, let's focus on the task at hand here. That's a lot of damage. Getting outplayed and getting saved. Oh my god, he actually hit the wall there and I think my parry was too too late anyway, but I don't know if it cancelled or not. Where's that guy at? We can kill that guy, but Careful about these CBBs. Oh my god. Get hit. And yeah, I don't have enough poise to use clay here, unfortunately. Alright, uh, let's just put on a bit of armor just to finish that. God, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, these scrubs.
is just unpredictable, really. 